This is the third video of the mini-series on how to post the game in Unity. In the previous video, we made a post system script that contains a function that allows us to change the post state of the game. That script is attached to a game object and the function is executed when pressing the escape key or a canvas button. Here, as we can see, when pressing this button, the console messages are indicating the post state. To see how to make this script, check out the previous video. I leave it here in the corner. Now let's see one of the actions we can apply to pause the game. Within this change pause state function, we are going to write the following instructions. If the game is running, then time dot timescale equals 1f and end with a semicolon. If the game is not running, then time dot timescale equals 0f semicolon. That's it. This will pause or resume time-dependent components, for example fix update functions, animators and rigid bodies. Let's give it a try. When pressing the pause button, we see that several things have stopped. The character animations, the spheres that were being affected by the rigid body components stop in the middle of the air. Besides, these spheres are no longer being generated. Uh, let's remember that the object generation was through an invoke repeating method that instruction executes a function with a certain frequency, in our case approximately 20 times per second. But as we see now, uh, that code is no longer executing and neither are the fixed update functions. Uh, the camera does move because for the moment uh, we use the update method. This is the script and here we have a boolean variable that allows us to make the movement in the update method or in the fixed update method. If I uncheck this box, the movement changes to the fixed update function and as we see now it is paused. So this instruction serves us to pause some elements, not all of them since as we see the update functions continues executing and also the background music is still playing, even the sound effects when, when a sphere touches the floor and gets destroyed it produces a sound like broken glass, that sound once it starts uh, doesn't pause. So in the next two videos we'll see uh, the actions we can apply to take care of the rest of the elements. As a curiosity, I want to show you that this instruction allows you to change uh, like the speed of the fixed update functions, the speed of the rigid bodies and the animators. I mean, with this we could accelerate or slow down the time in our game, make a slow motion effect for example. If here instead of 0, write 0.25f, um, the time in the post state would be 4 times slower. Let's give it a try. Here, as you can see, the game is running in slow motion. That's all I want to show you in this video. See you next time.